students will take one more question on power dissipation the question is there are the four different types of arrangements of three equal registers and in these four arrangements you have to write uh, the power dissipation in increasing order so the question is This is a question that uh, all the reasons are equal and you have to find power distribution in increasing order. <coughs> now, now, let us solve this. To find the power, we have uh, Basically, for resistors, the power is I square R or V square by R or V into I. There are three formulas. Out of which, which formula are going to use here? Because uh, the current is same in a group of this three or three or this two or one. The current is same, so better use this formula. So we use the formula P equals I square R. But then the R is not a single R over here. There are three R here, three R here also, but arrangements are different. So we will write the equivalent reasons of these four combinations. So that equivalent reasons, if I write for this, this will be R plus R plus R, that is three R. This is the equivalent reasons. So in series, we know the formula for series that uh, is for series. RS is R1 plus and so on. For parallel, we will have and so on. So, these are the formula used. So, here 1 upon R parallel combination is 1 upon R plus 1 upon R plus 1 upon R, that is 3 by R. Then you take the reciprocal so R by 3. Equivalent reasons is R by 3. Now, <coughs> here the two are in parallel, so 2 by r and then reciprocal r by 2. So, this is r by 2, this will be r by 2, and plus this is in series, so r by 2 plus r, that is 3 r by 2, 3 r by 2. For this combination, this two are in series, so 2 r, so this will be 2 r and r in parallel. So the formula we are going to use is product by sum, product by sum that is 3R, 1R plus 2R by 3. So you can see here, because I is same, power is proportional to R. The combination which has got highest value of R equivalent has also highest power. That means in of the, out of the four, we have to check which one has highest power, highest resistance. Here it is 3R, here 1 by 3, 1 by 3 is say 0 0.3, 333 3, 3 R, that is 0.3R. This will be 1.5R, this will be 0 0.6, 0 0.67, something like that. So I'll write 0 0.6R. Ah. You can say that this is a, this is having the highest power. After that, this, then this, then this. So, this is the least value. So, we have to write in increasing order. Increasing order means starting with the lowest value, you have to go to the maximum value. So, in, in terms of increasing order, so this B is first. So, first we'll write B. Then we will write this 0 0.6, that is D. 
then we'll have this C then at last A. So B D C A. This is how the alphabet is, is increasing order. So this is the less than this, and this is less than this, and this is less than this. So this is how we write the increasing order. So this is the answer to this question. Okay. Then we will take uh, one more. Let us take one more uh, example. Question number 11. I will uh, I'll take one more question. That is, uh, let us say there is an element of few resistances like this. Now, in this situation, in this situation, supposing that the registers are placed here, this is how the registers are arranged. Suppose this point is uh, A and this point is called B. So there are, uh, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 total resistances are there and uh, I will say that uh, <coughs> outer resistances are suppose 3 ohm each, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 and uh, the inner one, inside one is suppose 6, 6, 6, suppose this is 6, 6, 6, Six and six. So a question is to find the equivalent resistance of this combination. To find the solution. Whenever equivalent resistance is asked to find, the basic uh, idea is you imagine if the equivalent resistance is to be found between two, two points, suppose A and B. Resistance, find the equivalent resistance of the group of resistances between the points A and B. So, if the question is to find the equivalent resistance between the two points A and B, you have to think or imagine that a battery is connected across this. You connect a battery of V volt then distribute the current. If the battery is connected, then current will flow from higher potential towards A and from here the current is distributed or divided into different branches. Some will flow here, other here and like that. And finally all these currents meet here and come to the battery. So we have to select which resistors are in series and which resistors are in parallel and you go on simplifying. So this type of questions, we start from the end of the combinations at any one side, you start from any one side. Here, the current reaching over here will move through this side also, some current will flow through this. But then the question is the current that is going through this. The same current will pass through 3 ohm and this same current will also pass through this 3 ohm. Okay, so the current that, that is flowing through this side, this branch, the same current will flow through 3 ohm and also through this 3 ohm. Okay. So when same current flows through registers, those registers are in series. Okay. This is what you remember. So that means 3 and 3 are in series. So if these 3 are in series, these 3 and 3 are in series, the equal resistance will be 6. So you can reduce this to 6. In place of 3 and 3, you will have 6. So if you write that, <coughs> then this a diagram will be exactly same. The only thing is that this side will be 6. One 6 ohm resistance will be connected in place of 3 and 3. So this will look like this.
what happened is this 3 plus 3 in series is now 6 over here. So this part, these two registers, 3 plus 3 is now 6 here, which is I have written here. The rest is same. Now again, the current that is going through this, okay. Now again, the current that is coming from here, they are divided. If there is a branching of current, the resistors are in parallel. Here, this resistance and this resistance, these two are in parallel. Because whatever current that flows through these two runs will appear here. Okay. Suppose one ampere current flows through this and two ampere current flows through this, then here it will be three ampere. That means three ampere must have entered the two branches. That means if you have a situation like this, three ampere enters and one ampere through this, two ampere through this, then again three ampere comes out, then these two are in parallel. So whatever current that is coming to both of them, that is divided into two branches, so they are in parallel. Okay, and they meet again to give the same current. So these two are in parallel. When 6 ohm and 6 ohm are in parallel, the combination will give you half of the value, that is 3. Because the product by some 6 is a 36 by 12, that is 3. So whenever two relations of equal relations are in parallel, like x and x in parallel, the equivalent relations will be x by 2. So it is 6 here, so 6 by 2 is 3. So I can replace these 6 and 6 by 3. So they are parallel. So I will replace this. 6 and this 6 by 3 ohm resistance. So what I am doing is, I am just keep on simplifying the equation. The circuit is simplified. So this in place of these two, I will connect just one. From this point and this point, I will remove all this, these two branches and connect a single branch of resistance 3 ohm. So this diagram will look like You can see here, <coughs> it was 6 here, 3, 3, 3, 3. And inside also 6, 6, 6, 6. What about these two? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What about this? I have not written anything yet. These two are combined to give you 3 resistance from this point and this point, from this point and this point, this to replace by single resistance that I will put here, that is called 3, now it is 3. So this is the new resistance that is introduced. Now inside it is 6, inside it is 6. So what I will do, again the same process is repeated, the current that is entering here will also flow through this branch. So 3, whatever current enter enters here also flows through 3. So this 3 and 3 are in series, so it will be replaced by 6. So I will replace this by a 6 ohm. If I replace by 6, then again, this 6 and this 6 are in parallel. So this whole thing will be reduced to 3 again, because when 6 and 6 are in parallel, it is reduced to 3. So this and this combination will reduce to 3. Again, the 3 and this 3 are in, in series, so this 3 plus 3 is 6. Again, that 6 is in parallel with this. So it becomes 3. So this 3 and this 3 is 6. And again, that is parallel with 6. So it becomes 3. So that means this is 3. This 3 and this 3 are in series. So that is 6. And that 6 and 6 is in parallel. So that will be 3. That means the equivalent distance. This is the answer to this question. Okay, thank you.